Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye Newsling, Young King, One Yard, bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. The first verse of the national anthem. It goes like this. <laughs> Sing with me. Yeah, man, stand up. Anywhere you are right now, get up and stand up. Stand at that. You can't stand at it. <laughs> Eternal Father, bless our land. Guard us with thy mighty hand. Keep us free from evil powers. Be our light through countless hours. To our leaders, great defender, grant true wisdom from above. Justice, truth be ours forever. Jamaica, land we love. Jamaica, 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 land we love. So, <laughs> here somehow, you know, when I was singing the chorus, boom. Good evening, good evening. How no do? <laughs> you know we love to test the mic before we say anything. Are you hearing me? Ah, ah, all right. Respect, respect. So you up now? Um, we are gonna drop the news. The last time I was live, you know, I noticed somebody commented on the live that with enough respect, I should take down the, ja the Jamaica flag. And I tell the person that with enough respect, me not take it down. <laughs> You know, say some of no I go. Some of no have nothing for do, you know. Some of no no have nothing for do. Me as a Jamaican now, who are the best for my country? You see? You no go tell me about take down Jamaican flag. Look here, the man. You no go catch you no backside one side. You hear me? I tell you. Find something else and talk about. I don't care how long you view in the channel about take down flag. Eh? I don't care how long you have viewed the channel. I do not care one iota how long you watch the channel. Both take down flag. Go find something and do it. Anyhow, I, I recorded the news. So I'm going to play it. And then I have some, we have some important issues to talk about. So I'm going to play it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be showing the news first. And then I come, because I have an apology. A sincere apology to make. But... Let's listen to the news first. All right? In the news today, this one took place last night. Saturday, November 25, about minutes after 11 o'clock. It took place in the Black Nine area of Westmead in Portmore in the parish of St. Catherine. We are learning that four men, they were sitting on a wall in the community when a silver Toyota Yaris motor car drove up and stopped. We are told that Hoodlums in the Yaris. They opened gunfire on the four men sitting on the wall, hitting all four of them. The hoodlums, they then drove away, making good their escape. All four men who were sitting on the wall, they were shot. They are one. A 34-year-old man, he received gunshot wounds to his right leg. A 35-year-old man, he received gunshot wounds to his right thigh. A 42-year-old man, he received gunshot wounds to his groin area and his right leg. And a 46-year-old man, he received gunshot wounds also to his groin area and his right thigh. The police, they were called and all four men, they were rushed to a nearby hospital where they were treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, Nine 9 millimeter spent shells were recovered from the scene. This next incident, it took place early this morning. Sunday, November 26, about 2.30. It took place at Top Lincoln in the Grange Hill area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a guy, he's in his late 20s. He's popularly known as Brains. Brains, he was driving a motorcycle on his way home after attending a party. 
a female in her late 30s. She was a pillion on the bike. On reaching a certain section along the roadway, we are told that hoodlums opened gunfire at Brains and the female. Brains, he managed to ride away to the Grangel police station. He received gunshot wounds to his right foot and the female, she was grazed by a bullet on her right leg. They were rushed to a nearby hospital where they were treated and still at Top Lincoln in the Grangel area. About an hour after that shooting, there was another shooting in the area. A 15-year-old schoolgirl, she was in her bedroom fast asleep when she was awoken by gunshots being fired outside. The young girl, she jumped off the bed and went on the floor. It was then realized that she was shot. She received a gunshot wound to the lower section of her right hand. The police, they were called and they rushed with this female to a nearby hospital where she was treated and admitted. Now, at the end of the stories, we are going to be talking about the shootings that are taking place and the effect they are having on the delivery of quality health care. Stand by for that. Now, in this next story, that man on your screen. Why may I tell you, you know? Sad indeed. That man on your screen. His name is Ernest Scott. He was born on January 9, 1981, 41 years old. We are told that Ernest, he's originally from the Belfield area of Manchester, but he was living and working at Grangel in the parish of Westmoreland. So if you look on your screen, those are trucks from Mowat's Concrete on the job. The truck to your right has concrete in it and the truck to your left is the pump truck that pumps the concrete from the truck to your right. Got it? So, earn it. He was employed to Mowat's Concrete Company as a pump truck attendant. His job was to clean the pump on the truck to your left after it had completed a job and the pump is fully retracted are fully drawn back. We are learning that late yesterday evening, Saturday, November 25, shortly after 6.30, the pump truck was on the compound of Unico Construction Site at Lilliput in the parish of St. James. They had just completed a job. We are told that Ernest, he was on the truck, but the driver did not know because the pump was not yet retracted. The driver for the truck a 54-year-old man from the parish of Westmoreland. He was in the process of retracting the pump when an unusual sound was heard. When the driver went and made checks, he saw Ernest with a large wound to the back of his head. It is suspected that the pump that was being retracted, it hit Ernest in the back of his head. Ernest was rushed to the Falmouth Hospital, where he was admitted in a very serious condition, but administered to 12 midnight last night. Ernest, he succumbed to his injuries whilst he was being treated. Sad indeed, you know. This is such a sad way to go for a hard-working gentleman. Sad indeed. In the final story for now, this one took place early about 1.15. It took place along Bickford Street, right between Orange Street and Princess Street in Kingston. We are told that three persons were at a clothing stall. That stall is operated by a lady. Now, the lady who operated the stall, she was there. Also, there with her was her common-law husband. His name is Kirk Palmer, but he was popularly known as Chucky. Chucky was born on October 28, 1981, 42 years old. And Chucky, he was also a higgler. He lived at Chancery Lane. Also at the stall with Chucky and the female, we are told that the guy is Chucky's brother, but we have not yet confirmed it. His name is Christopher Palmer, but he was popularly known as Venom. Venom was born on May 8, 
1989, 34 years old. We are told that Venom, he was an artist and he lived in the Luclean area of Kingston. Our information is that all three persons were at the stall when they were approached by hoodlums who were armed with guns. The hoodlums, they opened gunfire hitting Venom and Chucky. They then made good their escape on foot in the area. We are told that Venom, he died on the spot and Chucky, he was rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E we are also told that a 25-year-old security guard from a Tivoli Gardens address, he turned up at hospital with a gunshot wound to his right lower arm. He told investigators that he was returning from work when he heard gunshots being fired and ran. He told investigators that he then realized that he was shot. Our information is that the police, they are investigating his claim. The female, she was not harmed. The mayhem continues. Now, this Wednesday evening, 6 o'clock, and I'm hoping that I put things in place by Wednesday evening. We are hoping to start, to start the live series with a doctor. Well, some doctors from the Urgent Care Medical Center in Savannah Lamar. Wednesday evening, we are hoping to start with Dr. Hugh Elliott. He's the man in charge of the medical center. They have medical doctors. Well, I don't know the medical terms, but they have psychiatrists. They have you name it. So over a period of time, we are going to be bringing in different, different doctors from Urgent Care Medical Center on Beckford Street, and this one, Beckford Plaza in Savannah Lamar. Now, I have something to address. You see? Over here, so. You see, whenever we make a mistake, whenever we make a mistake, we are not too big. We try, we try our best, you know. If you cut down on the mistakes, you know, we try our best. But the biggest news organization, CNN, NBC, ABC, in Jamaica, TVJ, CVM, all of them, mistake I go make. Because you know what happened? We are never there when certain things are happening. We depend on credible sources. You understand what I say? No. Last night video. Well. I told you about an incident that took place at Marley Gate. And last night, I show you a guy who I told you name, expert. A big mistake was made. And let me tell you what happened. The name of the person, expert, is Damian Muirhead. In the story that I carried, Davian Wilson, a Canadian resident, he went to meet up with a guy named Expert, before he was killed. Expert's correct name is Damian Muirhead. I'm going to show you something. Hold on. Where is it? Let me just present something on the screen. And then I continue with what I'm saying. All right. So, the, the man on your screen. Guess what? No, no. His name is also Damian Muirhead. A PNL detective reached out to me and sent me those photographs. I should have done some more checks, but it wasn't done. That is the wrong Damian Muirhead. His name is not, he's not called expert. Now, me now blame the PNL detective who sent me the photos, you know, because the person has always delivered. I am blaming myself for not doing the checks that me normally do. And I am sin sincerely apologizing to Damian and his family. In fact, I spoke to all of them this morning. But let me play a conversation I had with Damian this morning. Listen to this. Sir Damian, morning, sir. Morning, morning. You know, sir, right, you know, me there, right, my apology to you, though, for, for, for saying out today. Let well, me tell, me, me tell you what happened. The guy, the guy named Expert, him named Damian Murad. So, somebody sent me the photo saying it's him, somebody who me trust. 
Now I'm finding out this morning that it's the wrong Damien Muirhead. And I am sincerely apologizing to you about it. I'm making a video. As a matter of fact, I'm here writing out an apology for my video today. If you put it out, make, make go and the video that me post last night, me delete the part with your photo, me take off your photo off of the thumbnail, and I will be apologizing to you today. I, didn't, and if I, I don't know you, and if I intend to harm you, but the fact is the name of the person, my name expert, is Damian Muirhead. And when I check it out this morning, I should, should have done some more checks, but be, because of somebody who I trust. And when I check it out this morning, I'm finding out, say, I, it's not, it's, you are not the person, it's the wrong image. And I, I don't know. Yes. You will brother with them, say, miss, or I want me never see that. Them no, 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 no. You don't have, you don't have nothing to do with them. You don't, you don't have nothing at all to do with them. Me have no doubt about that. I mean, I clarify that. It's just that the name and that, as the somebody person who me trust who normally give me the information and the name, the, two, the, the, the person share your name, Damian Muirhead. Ex otherwise called expert and you are not you are not expert and me delete out the part with your image and everything and i will be apologizing to you publicly today same like how i sent out the video last night as some of sent out the apology to even though me i talk to you now that not enough for me because me a man you know and if me do something wrong me not free to stand up and say papa you did wrong for do it i am apologizing to you now I'm going to do it publicly like how I do it last night so that everybody can know, say, at the wrong image. At the, at the, at, 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 you, are, you are not the person. Uh, ever, ever, one of my sisters called me and tell me, say, ask me if I sleep last night. <laughs> yeah. I tell me, say, yeah, I sleep, <laughs> man, say, boy, I know she not sleep. Yeah, yeah, me talk, me talk, me talk to her. And at, at first, because I never, never show her certain things, I might answer her one way where she know. She not appreciate it. But at the end of the day, we are, we are man, you know, and we have to stand up too. When, when we see we go, we go, we go left, we have to try and go right. You understand? Now we have to stand up and accept we, 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 <laughs> where, we, where we go wrong. You understand? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Me never mean to harm you still. And me just hope, say, me go clarify it. And me hope, say, no harm, no done. And make people, uh, all of who see the video last night, they're going to see the video today. And, 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 and the apology will be loud and clear. You understand? Uh, yeah man, no no hard no, no, Yeah man, no no hard feelings man. Alright sir? Alright, uh, thank you. Yeah man, blessings, blessings. So we're back. And um Henry Tenan, what you say? So Damien have a claim then? Yeah man, he have a claim. And um we we you know <laughs> if you want to make a claim, but at the end of the day, we 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 don't set out for my line, nobody, you know. You understand? We don't set out for my line, nobody. We never have to come here and say this. We could have just talked to him and talk to the family and do what we are doing. But we know we know we don't play games. You understand? We don't play games. We don't play games. We say what we have to say. If we're wrong, we try our best, you know, to do the thing proper. But whenever we go wrong, we are not afraid to come on here so and say, it is what it is. You understand what I say? And Damien. And your family, your father, <laughs> daddy, <laughs> daddy, miss, daddy, you say you listen to me every single night. <laughs> Respect, man. Manners, 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 manners. Nothing, no respect. All right? We are human. Part of the thing. We, 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 and it's a learning process, you know. It's a learning process. And we are going to try to build upon that. You understand what I say? <laughs> Yes, Henry. Bless up yourself, man. Bless up yourself. Shereen Hill. You, you, Shereen Hill, let me tell you something. I agree with what you say, but it's not as easy as what you say. There are sometimes you depend, you depend on some people for certain information, but it is what it is. Anyway, Christmas are come, you see? You know this minister big up nobody yet? No worry yourself. We're soon big enough. <laughs> Pauline's place. Bless up yourself. Christmas are come and we are big people. Not only when Christmas are coming, you know? not only when Christmas are come, we are begging you be safe. Stay on the alert. I'm going to show you a video. This took place yesterday afternoon downtown Savannah Lamar. Watch that video. Watch this. <laughs> So you see the TV in the Watch your hand. You see left hand? 
You see him? You hear the old fart a while ago? But yo, you have arm. You hear him? People. So that thiefin boy there, him take with the lady purse with her TRN and other documents. I'm not sure how much money was in it. I'm not sure how much money was in it. But having your bag like that behind you is a no no. Having your bag on your back like that is a no no, like what the lady do. I just see it even boy left hand, watching left hand, watching left hand. You see it? Him use the bag there, touch on the lady bag, and him push him left hand in the lady bag. You see it? Having your bag on your back like that. Is a no no. Please be vigilant. And then some little people now who claim that they're a human rights advocate. A state of emergency put in a man to go be yesterday. Um, the other day. And some people have got bunny it out and talk about human rights. This what happened to the people them who are dead rights? What happened to the two little people them who are dead the other day rights? Eh? What happened to feed them rights? Who are talking for them? Who are talking for the innocent people that are being killed? Eh? Who are talking for them? Who? Who are talking for young Nicoliva and young Justin? Who are talking for them? This thing here, are them need to start telling people the truth. This thing I need a concerted effort. Everybody. And all are we there, so you know. We can say this and that and Tira knows what, you know. We have to play a part in our what happen. All of we cannot be afraid. You hear me I tell you? All of us cannot be afraid. The amount of fire we burn for Papa, you know. The amount of fire we burn for me, you know. Then can burn it all them want, you know. But I am not afraid. Simple as that. All of we cannot be afraid. I mean, I say nobody if you try to do what me I do. But there are ways you can do things and nobody know what is happening in Jamaica now. You go and take a concerted effort. And it can be fixed. But there has to be a there has to be willpower if you do it. Now come talk about say. Death penalty. And try to fool up people like say. Nobody are going to hang in a Jamaica for the next hundred years. It will never happen. Talk about the reality of the situation. And stop fool up, fool up people. Death penalty is still on the books. But when. I can tell you this. I can tell you this. For the next hundred years. Nobody in Jamaica. Nobody on death row will be hanged. Remember me tell you that. Marvali, you say only God, God give us a brain. That is my belief. God help those who help themselves. Prayer, not, prayer alone now go work. Prayer and action can work. Prayer alone now go work. We as a people, you see? And the things that are we are now, we are so tribalized. You see, if me come and I want me say certain things, you hear say Papa ya PNP, or Papa ya JLP, or Papa ya that the P. That's how the thing set in a Jamaica, you know. You say certain things, people burn you out because you don't support what they must say. Well, burn me, I don't know why I'm burn me. Call me PNP, call me JLP. If you no business, me nah, I'm not no now in the yard. I mean, I'm big no now, no no. You understand? Say anything you want to say. But at the end of the day, why do you allow, or why is it that the only time certain actions are taken in Jamaica are when people go out on Black Road? Why is it? 
these two boys. And if there's any solace in it, or if I can say me happy about anything, the person who the police has, has identified as the killer, he was arrested. And, well, he was arrested from, I think, last week, the 17th, last week, Friday. The police carried out a raid and he was held. No, yes, yesterday, the 25th, he was officially charged for the triple murder. It was one person who carried out this hit. And the target for this attack is the guy to your right, Tevin Hill, otherwise known as Bansell. You would have heard me talk, you would have heard me talk to him, mother. Uh, it was when, on the 11th, I played an interview I did with his, with his mother. And his mother was saying that, him no nothing. You know? His mother was saying that her son no in nothing. But at the end of the day, he was shot and killed. And it is said that the reason why he was killed is because he was suspected to be involved in the killing of Odin Smith, that guy they call Puns, and Imani Jarrett. You remember the two of them were in a taxi? And they were shot and killed right at the South Spring Primary School. It is said that this guy, he was involved in it. I understand that the police arrested another guy last week who they are saying was involved in it also. So, that guy, Chichi, his correct name is Travis Tommins, but they call him Chichi. 26 years old and him come from Barrett Town. He was arrested and charged. So, we don't know what evidence the police have yet, but they must have some type of evidence to charge him. So let's see what goes happen. There are still persons in the force where you can trust to give information. Somebody knows somebody who them can trust. Yeah, some people that say, boy, I don't go to the station and go say nothing because my name will go back. You don't have to go to the station. There are ways to pass on information. There are ways to do it. There are people. In the JCF that can be trusted. We have to help. You live in one area and you see one like a strange boy come in there. And you start to say, say to your neighbor, say, then I who him. Your neighbor say, I know him just come last night, I see him come in and he have two bags. And then you are saying, I'm not busy with him coming, I want nobody to kill me. You have to start business. You have to start business. If you know business, what go happen next? A night night or candlelight and this and you have to start business. Well, Terry Hudson, if you have the confidence in a CTAC, if persons have the confidence in a CTAC, reach out to them. But don't leave things as it, as it is and claim, say, you know, trust them, say, you know, and tell them nothing. If a CTAC you trust, if it's something, tell CTAC. The JDF also have a hotline where you can WhatsApp them. You can Google it. The JCF have Instagram page, Facebook page. They have email addresses. They have 119. They have all kind of this and that. Give them the information. They don't know who has sent it. Pass on the info, send one email, create one fictitious Facebook page, send them the message. Or one fictitious, if, if you are so concerned about trust and, 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 and security, create one fake page and send them the information. Then, before I go to the police station and report any crime, I'd rather call you. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> before I go to the police station, call you. Well, yes, yes, Diana. And you, I remember once a boy robbed me and I knew who he was. Why well, I me mean, I tell you, you know, <laughs> the things set away, the things set away. Trust is very important. Trust. Trust is very important. <laughs> Where's the Pauline? No, no, we're not ready for run yet. <laughs> we're not ready for run yet, man. We're not ready for run yet. <laughs> we're not ready for run yet at all. But at the end of the day, gentle people, 
Remember me tell you, you know. You have to wonder, you know. You have to wonder. You see, when Jamaica did poor, or when we grew up poor, you know. I grew up dirt poor. I grew up dirt poor. Some things were going on now never used to go on. Eh? Some things were going on now never used to go on, you know. And these guys say them rich. And they might kill them one another, even though they're rich. They make so much money out of this scamming. And you have people who are invested. Some of you are listening to me now, you know. Some of you know, right here now, you know, listen to me. And I cuss, cuss out my daylight. But you have people, them go up on the hills and them buy the weed. And them press it up and thing. Put it on boat. Can I go to Haiti or some other South American country? And them go swap the weed for gun. And them come back with it. And them come back. And them sell the guns. They no business who them sell the guns to. Are they no business who the gun are go kill. That is what is happening now. You have some people, some guys. Them cross the border, go up on boat to Mexico. Cross the border and go over. And them no good if you go make a better life and try up themselves. Their interest is for buy and send, send back gun to Jamaica. To make sure so them gang out here have the firepower. Parents, you know. Parents, you no need to talk to the young ones. You see this gangster lifestyle? If you talk to enough of the guys, them, who get involved in it. Once them get involved, it's hard for them to come back out of it. That's why, you know. You see some guys go to prison and come back. And when them come back, them still involved. I say, them don't learn nothing. But you see, some of the time them do some things before they go to prison where them still have to come back out and go gun. Because if them drop them, them, them guard, them dead. My valley where some must come to Canada. <laughs> one day, one day, man. We're coming, we're coming. <laughs> See are you? <laughs> Mr. Wallace, a guy, I try, I try this program a while ago, you know. Akito. Well, you get a ban a while ago, yeah? <laughs> Don't feel like, say, you can't come with a kind of style, we, you know. <laughs> Akito, I try style me a while ago, you get a ban. <laughs> get an, go, go make an next page and come back. <laughs> Don't feel like, say, you, feel like, say, you can't come with a kind of style me. Yeah? You think we don't see what I go on? Come on with the, with the, with the fierceness. Anyhow, we don't make them, them distract we, you know. Because we know, say, a whole heap of criminals that watch what I go on right here now, you know. And them all come in at all kinds of names and try to come. <laughs> Delroy, <laughs> bless up yourself, man. <laughs> bless up yourself, Delroy. Bless up yourself, sir. Andrew, if you step down, we don't go to say no, my dog. Our MSD dog. We not go this, we not busy with that part there. We not busy with that. When the time come to vote for you, who want to vote for? Me not tell you who to vote for. Me know whether me go vote or me not vote. You understand? <laughs> me know that. So this coming Wednesday evening, we are going to be starting a series to ask the doctor. And if you notice, you know, I, I, I may have to talk about this. We are going to the hospital, them know, you know. You see, because of the whole heap of accident and gunshots, sometimes the, the hospitals them overwhelmed right here now. Can you imagine? Just imagine. You were the Spanish Town Hospital last night. You're the Spanish Town Hospital. You sit down and you wait. You might have to have one, something where you urgently want to see a doctor for. And about two people in front of you. When you look, you see the police come there with four guys suffering from gunshot wounds. Two of them, balls shot off, are damaged. The other two, them have serious gunshot wounds also. You think the doctor go by the look for you? The doctor go deal with them with the gunshot wounds. So that is what is causing the problems in the hospital now. The accidents and victims of crime. Cut up or shut up or stab up or chop up. 
Are that I go on now? And because certain things in the hospital is free. You have some people where as them head start hurt them, them go to the hospital. So they too are assisting the overcrowded thing. Ricardo, what do Ricardo? Hold on there. Uh, what do Ricardo? What Ricardo I say? Hold on. Uh, what Ricardo? How you not talk about Philip? Because you are because you are coward. Only poor people you bash. Ricardo Vassal. How you not talk about Philip? Because you are coward. Only poor people you bash. Ricardo Vassal. What you say? How many I talk about who? Which Philip you talk about? Ricardo Vassal. Me have time for him, Raheem. Which Philip you talk about? Ricardo, which, 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 which Philip you talk about? And tell me which poor people you hear me come by Yabash. Ricardo Vassal? Ricardo Vassal? Which Philip you talk about? And tell me which. <laughs> no echo, me have to respond. <laughs> I have a respond. <laughs> I know some me grow. My mother did very fiesty, you know. Anybody for Aunt Lucy know mama says, you know. She's a very nice lady, but she's very fiesty. Ricardo, which Philip you attack? Leave four people business alone. Who want to get shot, get shot. Who want Get shot. Work for that. P O U L. Um, Ricardo, Ricardo Vassal. I am gonna put you on timeout. All right, Ricardo, your band. Go find one next channel and come back. <laughs> Ricardo, <laughs> you just get a band. <laughs> no, me, me black him. No, who am I? Me not have time for foolishness. Me not have time for foolishness. No, 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 pan for me channel. Go pan one next channel and. I say Papa is dirty and Papa is this and Papa is that and Papa is bash poor people and this and that. We don't have time for that. You understand? <laughs> Who am I? Let me tell you something. Who am I? Then what am I going to talk about Philip Alwell say again? Ain't Sandra? I'm not talking about him already. I'm talking about Philip Alwell already. Nobody now set, nobody now program me and set my agenda. Nobody can set my agenda and tell me who I'm going to talk about with them politics agenda. Nobody can program me and say, Papa, I talk about this. Oh, you're not, eh? I, 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 me, I was a bash poor people. Bash poor people. Well, uh, you think I'm poor people, I would love <laughs> No, man. We <laughs> can't go sit down, man. <laughs> can't draw me out, Kevin. Can't draw me out. Then try all the while, you know. <laughs> then try all the while. Then, then, then come under all kind of disguise. All kind of disguise. Then. Ricardo, good as long in our jail cell right here now. Me good all in read out Ricardo file. <laughs> what happened to the woman? Let me see what Beverly said. What happened to the woman and her pitney them who did that cuss you out? And about you have spread rumors about her son a murderer. Did you? S I don't know. They, they might keep her and go off. I mean, I'm turn it off. No, Beverly, Beverly. The lady did not say that. She never said me a cuss her son. Say her son a murderer. You understand? She never said that. What happened was her son and another guy were killed by the police. So she was doing a live on Facebook. So on the live, she was cussing the police. So because she knew, say, me a go carry the news. She was doing what they call a preemptive strike. So she was cussing me. Telling me, say me if you know what me I come with. She never said me call her son murderer. And not because she cussed me and styled me up, me not going to tell no lie on her. <laughs> you get me? She never said, she never said, <laughs> she never said me call her son a murderer. And up until this day, I don't have no evidence that her son was a murderer. You understand? I don't have that the evidence there. True, you see it. <laughs> The hate real long time, man. A long time the hate really not true. Because guess what happened now? A lot of them, 
them can't get touched already, you know. Them can't get touched. So they go create some fictitious profile and come. So when them come with them stupidness, me there for them. Because this is how them, they, them get them strength. By writing some foolishness. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, man. So, so, so Beverly, I'm saying, yeah, you should never, she never, she never say me call her son murderer. And I did not. I have no evidence that her son is a murderer. Her son was killed by the police. I know that the guy who the police, the other guy who was killed, he was the guy who was actually involved for a murder that took place at a place named Broughton Square. In fact, I am told that the police has cleared up that murder on him. He was responsible for that. You understand? Dion Ricketts. <laughs> what you say? More love. <laughs> real time bro. Real bro. Big time in pharma. What the informer, you know? Real, real bro. What the informer, you know? Drop it in the comment section. Real bro. What the, what the, what the farmer, you know? Papa? Friend, tell a friend. Tell a friend. About Papa News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. I'm a shop Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica Crime it a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica How could a sunshine a rain? Jamaica No problem no pain Good boy them no go can't tear But me want me country back Give me me country back To the street and the lane Everybody them start complain Bloodshed, what a shame, what a shame But me want me country back, give me me country back Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of the gun East and north and south when me turn Country and town man a pay blood a run Murder, don't you be a be me hear them a murder Cut it up, tell them you're gonna further Man a dead like 